I love seeing spires in England, Scotland mm -hmm. on buildings where somehow a, a hill or a wood cuts off the building and you just see the spire mm -hmm. kind of coming out of the ground. And when you dislocate a form like a dome as I did in Washington and put it back to the ground or take the spire off the building and put it in, so it takes on a different meaning. Mm -hmm. It really draws <laughs> its, uh, its energy and, and form and structure from the ground. It becomes rooted in the ground. This whole forest is a cultural landscape. It's an artifact. It's not a natural forest. It's something planted by man. Uh, we have to rehabilitate the forest. The forest is dying. These trees probably only have about another 20 years to go, so we're trying to restore it and grow a new generation. And in 1847, the American army entered the Presidio and one lieutenant said it was a place unfit for human habitation. So in 1878, General McDowell asked for a plan for planting of trees to slow the winds down. And over 100,000 trees were planted from 1886 to probably about 1910. The landscape is, has many layers to it mm. in terms of usage by people. is more problematic because you have to deal with mm -hmm. all those people. But I think that's good ultimately for me as a sculptor, mm -hmm. as an artist. This may even be the first art project in the park um, as far as um, outdoors and using the material that's uh, taken from site. Well, uh, we're taking, taking shifts, uh, getting up in the lifts, and uh, you know, just fitting the logs into place. I wanted and, had, and did work with the foresters from the Presidio, mm. the people who work on the, the trees, so they know the place, they know how to deal with the timber, and that's been fantastic. Their knowledge mm. has re really benefited. And I didn't actually work on the sculpture itself, which is, oh, that was, now that's interesting. I've sat at the bottom with a pair of binoculars and a walkie talkie, really? <laughs> telling them where yeah. to put the log, which is oh, something I've like yeah. never <laughs> ever done before. Yeah. You know, you're up there, over 100 feet up, wrestling with an 11,000 pound log, it's, uh, it's something. There weren't that many easy ones, really. It was, it was challenging. I mean, the first day we got one log in, the second day we got two, or on top of that, fitting the logs into place. And, you know, the hardest part was getting the bends out of them, because none of them were really straight. Everything had, had curves, but to get them to fit together, we had to pull the bends out. So, you know, we were up there with ratchet straps and come along. So. I knew that I could never get the perfect spine. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the trees wouldn't allow me that, but I was damn well going to go and try <laughs> within, within the within the constraints and nature of the tree, right. you know, yeah. and that fight with it is what gives it its, uh, its tension.